Hey, welcome back. Another day. Another day on the farm. Uh, you can hear the saw running in the background. I'm just letting it warm up. It's a uh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day today. What's well, really nice? <laughs> this 30 to 50 mile an hour winds are gone, so it's really nice out here. Still chilly, it's in the 30s. So, but yeah, it's uh, we're gonna get sawing. I got I got my cut sheet with me, need to get some stuff done. Tomorrow's gonna be full on sap, probably almost every day this week, unfortunately. Um, but yeah the sap's already running today so it hasn't ran in a week so uh the couple that i could see in the translucent buckets are running so i'm gonna put you on uh the saw here give you uh you know quick overview of what's going on and then uh we'll move on to the next thing but so that's a 22 inch pin oak you can see the the pith is not centered, but here again, this is for pig huts, so this will work fine. So I have one, two, three, four, I have five four by fours over there, and I need 12 total. So we're going to try to get that, get this, and then get some boards out of this, some one inch stuff. All right, let's get moving. I think yeah this is the last piece of this pin oak that I have and what you can't see at this end is there's a hole with the other end <clears throat> so I mean it's looking pretty nice there's the flitch I got off of it that thing's wide I don't know where's my tape measure I don't know I'll show you later but that's probably 20 inches so I'm going to set you up over here on the Kubota. Watch me use the skid steer to turn this thing. That, uh, if you could see, where's my finger? You know, right down in there, that round, that outside round, so heavy, I couldn't even lift it. So I had to take chainsaw and cut it up so that I could get it off of there. So, but we'll set you up here and <clears throat> you can watch me struggle. <laughs>
she's clean. Belt's loose. Took the tension off the belt. Uh, I'm going to close her up here. Uh, throw something over the top of it. And uh, call this a win. I'm glad that tree is done. Right there is what I ended up with. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. Seven four by fours, uh, two by four, and then a whole bunch of one by material. I mean, some of that stuff's 20 inches wide. So, and then I got a bunch of one by sixes also. Uh, that's a pretty wonky stack, but whatever. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we'll catch, check back in tomorrow. All right, well, um, new day. As you seen yesterday, uh, just a minute ago, a uh, second ago, I did that big pin oak, which whooped my butt. Man, that stuff's heavy. Big logs like that just cause you pains in the butt, to say the least. So anyways, oh man, I've got a scratch. Ugh. Anyways. I got uh, I got up this morning right when the sun was coming up, and I should have known better, but it was like uh, I don't know, 18 degrees or something. But you know, I'm thinking I'm ready to roll on the sap this morning, so I went out, and everything was froze solid, like completely froze solid. So. Um, And so that's kind of a good thing, right? Because uh, as far as I know, and I've heard other people spout it, that, you know, the water freezes and it's uh, what doesn't freeze is concentrated. But the issue I had was everything that was froze was froze to the bucket. So I couldn't get even, I couldn't even get the ice out. So, um, so I kind of regrouped. I did a little intro for the video that's coming up tomorrow, coming out tomorrow. Uh, please let me know if you like that kind of thing. I don't know. This is all, you know, doing this on a weekly basis is all kind of new to me. So trying to blend different projects together is challenging my limited editing skills. So anyways, so what I did was uh, I, I up got my video uploaded all that good stuff and then um, I came out here and I had a couple that were I checked my sap again a couple of them that were right at the top so and the ice had broke loose so I went around with the 
the 900 and I, I ended up with like, I don't know, five, six gallons. I didn't even mess with this ones that hardly have any in it. So I'm hoping actually the trees that I did check were running. So, uh, so like right now it's 1230 kind of poo pooed the morning, but doing that, but you know, why am I doing this? Right? So what I'm going to do is since, you know, the day's half over already, I am going to mill this guy here. This is a, a piece of maple. Supposedly, I'm hoping it's spalted. And I have another piece there. And this is nothing. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to slab this stuff. And then I'm going to put it on uh, Facebook Marketplace for sale. So, let's hope. I don't know. It might be junk. And I might just have cut it up for firewood. So, that's what we're going to do right now. And uh, these, are, these little guys, they're, they're easy <laughs> compared to that stuff yesterday. So, all right, well, let's get started. Check this out. Holy smoke to get off of there. That has got some nice grain. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna flip this. cut it, see what we can get out of it. Okay, oh. so let's see what we ended up with here. Uh, so these guys are 12, 13, 14, almost 15 inches wide. Yeah, 15 inches wide. And they're all two inches except for one so they're all uh, <coughs> eight quarter so that's awesome so I will go get my other side by side take these down get some pictures slap these up on uh, Facebook marketplace so I know in the last video <laughs> I touted the frontier sawmill but let me tell you I absolutely despise that. Whoop, are you there? I absolutely despise that. I have got to get that replaced. That is the worst valve <coughs> made. I, can't, I, I mean, I don't even know if they could get a cheaper one. You can barely turn it, and it's either flooding or it's not putting anything out. So, oh, irritating to say the least. So, all right, well, I'm going to... Shut this off. Go get the other. Uh, go get the other side by side. Take these down. Get some pictures, and uh, slap them up on Facebook Marketplace. Get some lunch, and then I have, I have another one sitting right there. It's longer than this one, and uh, we'll get him cut up. All right. All right. Well, let's 
skid steer's gone. What a muddy mess this is up here. It's a muddy mess everywhere. So this is my next project. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's too wide for my sawmill. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to get it uh, cut before this video gets out. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, I might be able to flip it up on end, cut a couple off of it, say off of this side, and then get it down to where I could maybe run it through and flatten it. I don't know. But there's what I ended up with. So i got to set these up so I can get some pictures of them. Get them on the old marketplace. All right. On to the next. I don't know if you can see the deer up there. It's about eight or ten. Saw us coming up to the peach orchard. Took off. Well, we're out here checking our buckets. See how much sap we've got. Careful, babe. <laughs> it will. <laughs> we have robins. The robins are out. It seems so early. They're up there in the tree. I don't know if you can see them. It's about three or four flitting around. But yeah, there's too much snow up here. This is the north side of our property. Careful. <laughs> Can't drive down in there, but we will get stuck. There's the road we came in on. Don't want to get stuck up here. <laughs> but I would say there's probably about, what, 10 or 12 buckets up here, hon? Couple double taps. Mostly ice. Yeah, it's a lot cooler up here. Bust. Mostly ice in the buckets. We probably have, oh, 28, 30 gallons. And then hopefully we'll have another 20 till we're all done. To get a gallon of syrup for tomorrow. So the closer to the house we get, we have a little more sun and a lot less snow, as you can see. I just emptied these last night. How much do you have now? What's that? How much do you have now since last night? Oh, these two are good gallons. Right, right before dark. Well, right at dark. Yeah. Still running. Yeah, I think it's uh, 40. What was it? 42 degrees? Right it. 
15 gallons. Not too bad. We'll get a gallon of syrup tomorrow. Woo woo! So, we'll be at it early in the morning, but we'll check back and give you an update. Toodles! Good morning. <laughs> So it's, uh, what is today, Thursday morning, and we're getting ready to boil some syrups about 7, 7.30, something like that. And uh, I don't know if you can hear, but the goats think that it's time for me to feed them. <laughs> there, look out. Let's get some fire started here. Get you set up on the old tripod. Get you set up on the tripod and uh, get some fire start going. Alright, well, first thing we gotta do is get some sap in here. Can't start a fire Rip the hole in the sweatpants. Holy smokes. That like never happened before. Hmm, I'll have to get something to fix that. Alright, that'll be good for that. That'll get us going. going down here. Little, uh, little outdoors with the Morgans fire starter. Stuff actually works pretty well.
ones here, folks. Is it going enough? now all right quick update so started out with basically 18 gallons sitting here and then I had another 15 in the where are we at there in the tank so all 18 gallons um, are in here now uh, and then we just dumped the 15 gallons into this container here and then I filled up <laughs> oh my goodness the warming pan so we're getting down there I mean obviously it's gonna take a while we're supposed to start raining here anytime Are you guys starving? Huh? Is everybody starving? They know when she gets in over there that the food is coming <laughs> oh my gosh that one little one has got a voice Louder. are you trying to beat pulp today I am. are you smells, like smells like what beets <laughs> so we uh, we've been using like our local goat feed in Bedford Co-op and it's I don't know if it's expensive and I don't know it's just expensive and I don't know that it does any what great so this is what we've been switching we switched to beet pulp what does it taste They're like? They're big pellets. Wow, they are, aren't they? Here. So we're, we're mixing. We feed we feed our goats barley because it's not desiccated with Roundup here. And this is what our this is what our uh, medicated medicated goat food. feed from our local co-op looks like. And then uh, we were looking for what calf manna. Yeah. Calf just... man and they can't get it. It's like uh, not obtainable at this point. So this is very close. It's beet pulp. So, so I think most people soak their beet pulp. Mm. Well, we're gonna but, tr we'll try it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch closely. Make sure nobody chokes. Smell it. Doesn't really smell. It like does. It. But it's been in this bucket. So, so we're going to. All right. Well, we'll see, see how it goes. Okay, another update. We got the steamer rolling. We got the ceiling fan, or something called a ceiling fan. It's keeping the steam out of here because it'll rain in here if you don't. It's pouring down rain outside. Uh, probably hear it. So, that's all we have left of the 40 gallons to put in. There's probably... I don't know, five gallons maybe. And it's just about 12.30, 1 o'clock. Steam's, steam's a cooking. Probably another steamer pan one of my Yeah. And the uh, buckets are filling up today. <laughs> so, all right, we'll come back in a little bit. 
All right, so it is. Do you know what time it is? I do. I have my phone with me. Four. Ten to five. Ten to five. We are freezing. It's <laughs> chilly, just out here, but the sap has slowed down. And if you look, we're about half a spoon. So we're getting close. Here I'll show you. It's getting caramely. I can tell you it tastes good. I tried it. <laughs> so we're getting close. We used up hmm, almost ha half a basket of wood today. So, all right. Well, that's what's going on right now. All right. Well, we pulled it off of the evaporator when it was 40 on the bricks, which is uh, the highest we've ever taken it off. So, and it's what is it now? 50. Okay, 50 something. So she's got uh, jars ready to go. But that's, we're finishing it on here on the stove. So we'll bring you back when we're done and show you what we got left. But this was like 43 gallons. <laughs> so this is what it's down to. Well, we ended up with. Yeah, yeah. A gallon and a pint, which we're just going to use that as ours for, for now. But this stuff will be stored for sugar for the rest of the year. Good morning, everyone. So that's like, I don't know, five, five quarter to six, something like that this morning. So... We got collected 60 gallons of Sarah sap yesterday. So it's time to get this thing boiling. I don't want to be up till midnight. So, so we're going to get a fire going here. And uh, cleaned everything out last night. Let me get let me get you set up on the uh, tripod and we'll get going here. All right. Uh, oh man, a little discombobulated this morning. Hmm. Okay, went back in and got some fire starter. Oh, throw this in there. This is like 100 year old barn wood. All right, well, we started at 6.45-ish, and it's almost, I don't know, 8.30, quarter to 9, and we are, we are flying through the stuff, so I had to turn the fan on to get that steam out of here, and yeah, we've already emptied that one, that one into that one. That one's less than half the big one. Oh really? So we're down five gallons left in that and the, the big 10 gallon and then we've got 20 gallon ish in the back of the side by side in the tank so yeah we're getting there. He's going fast. <laughs> Can you hear the goats? <laughs> no. I think they went fed. 
Uh, all right, well, I'm going to let you go. I got somebody coming to buy some slabs from me, so that's a good thing. Catch you here in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what we got here is my Holtz Forma G660, which is a um, clone, Chinese clone, of a MS660 Magnum, I believe. So... I bought this saw, uh, probably had it for two years now, and um, runs just like, just like a steel. So, parts are interchangeable. The only thing that I will say that they did not copy they did not copy the uh, vibration dampening. Because it's definitely, it will definitely vibrate your hands more than a, like a steel will. So, so what I'm doing now is just getting ready to service this thing. Um, make, get all the, uh, get everything, all the dirt out of it. So I got the choke closed. So we should be good there. And actually, this thing is not, not too bad. I haven't used it in a while. You see that? Not too bad. You can clearly see through it, so it's not that I, I don't have that many trees on that, uh, that thing, anyways. So, put this back together. The winter attachment in there. Not really had much of a winter to deal with that. All right, so Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to sharpen the chain and then I'll fuel it up and it'll be ready to roll. All right, so this is what I use. You can buy these on Amazon for your chain size.
elevator right there. Oh, that's what was next to your chair? Yeah, I brought it out here so I wouldn't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad you found it. Yeah, I opened it up and that's the complete rebuild kit for it. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to open it. It's up there, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so the Holtz Forma, which if you guys are interested, I can do like a review on them, on that saw, at least just my personal opinion on them. You can ask in the comments and I'll do one. Uh, it's done, gassed, uh, fueled and oiled and sharpened and cleaned. So this saw here is my uh, one of my uh, MS 440 Magnums. Starts right up, but that's all it would do. <laughs> Just sit there and idle. Well, it turns out that this guy right here, this little arm that controls the throttle popped out so after figuring out how to tear the front cover off looks like we're good to go now so awesome now I just need to clean it up sharpen it fuel it up and we're good to go on the next on this one all right well let's see if this thing works Take it back apart. Started at 5.45 this morning with 60 gallons, ended up with a gallon and three pints, or a gallon and a quart and a pint, same difference. So pretty happy with that, pretty happy. We'll probably be doing this again on Tuesday, but <clears throat> uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the video here for this week, it's Saturday. And yeah, so thanks for watching, um, and we'll catch you on the next one.